Hello. I'm introducing the analog XY plotter output to HPGL translator. HPGL being the uh, <laughs> Hewlett Packard graphics language. Uh, what what do we have here is an old Textronic scope, circa you know 1992, which was uh, big in its day, and uh, all it has as as an output is a analog pen plotter output. Well. The problem is I want to get this image in a modern day PC so I need a way to uh, uh, translate the uh, X and Y pen voltages into a series of uh, HPGL commands so enter the uh, Arduino Uno with my custom shield here which will simply read the voltages as you can see through the uh, uh, X Y voltages and of course the, uh, the, the pen relay up down a uh, couple op amps uh, 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 to the AD, uh, the ADC um, C of the Ar Arduino and right out the serial port. Naturally this needs uh, 9 volts to uh, power the whole thing. So here we have a, a scope trace already saved. See two sine waves and you can see the, the, the text at the top and the bottom. So in order to uh, uh, make a uh, capture a trace so we uh, can uh, uh, I do believe I hit the plot button here as you can see the plot screen comes up we want analog XY we'll leave the graticule on all right I must capture the the data in a uh, uh, program say like TerraTerm so I'm gonna uh, start a log uh, test 200 PLT good enough save this will now uh, uh, capture the text from this and if I go here and flip this little switch we can see sure enough uh, 615 PA commands the second 531 comma 533 that's pretty close to the middle 511 comma 511 little DC bias there no problem I have to go over here and hit start on the uh, scope and you can see it's now tracing out the uh, horizontal and vertical graticules and if I were to go over and see the actual data you can see printing it out furiously see Y holds as X changes from uh, left to right let's go on that a while and uh, pretty soon it'll be starting the there we go uh, uh, you can see X holding as, 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 as Y travels from top to bottom. It's now tracing out the uh, vertical uh, graticules. Uh, this whole plot takes about uh, 3 minutes and 50 seconds. That'll be the, the length of this video. So bear with us. Draws the, 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 the small frame it's, and it's going to draw a big frame that actually goes off this screen but will fit in the plot. Go back. Oh, focus. And we can see it's tracing out the sine waves right now. There's the points at the bottom sine wave. You can see <laughs> it is. And now it's probably going to, uh, there's the, uh, the two cursors, the top trace cursors of the bottom trays and probably the, the letter T's for the trigger points and it will start printing out the words 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 volts and is actually capturing those coordinates 615 per second this is going to be probably a, a one and a half megabyte file probably around 125,000 lines but uh, that's okay we have to capture this in real time fast enough so we don't miss any any detail just another minute and it will uh, we'll have the entire uh, plot captured so analog voltages in and you know serial uh, uh, data out by um, 
still writing the text across the top we need enough data points uh, to capture you know all the detail we need uh, uh, this Arduino sketch could have gone three times faster but why have all those redundant data points when you don't need them I think I have this slow enough that we can get all the detail we need and still keep it a one and a half megabyte file if you were to open this in Word it would probably be over 2,000 pages but you're not gonna mail it to anyone we're gonna send this to a, 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 a Windows based plotter program like print capture any minute now right now it's it's printing the the the, the text at the top of the plot, I bet you it's printing out the word Tektronix right now. Uh, oh, it's pretty stable there. And, oh, the plot's done. Okay, we just turn the switch off. And we see the data stops and it puts out the last three commands. Pen up, uh, select pen, nothing, and initialize. All right, I'm going to quickly, uh, all we have to do is... Uh, uh, close the uh, uh, file. We we'll go to print capture right now. Uh, open and there's test plot 200. And we trim the edge, and there it is 100 150,000 plot points. All right there. Now, this is you know, this is very large, and if you look closely, you can see there's some digital noise here but it's 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 acceptable if you uh, uh print it out uh, i did a dry run and print it out uh let's go back let's go back uh let's see go back to our display there it is and i i printed out you know pretty much life size from from print capture and uh it's it's decent uh you know side by side um this will do uh how does it look uh if you look in the github uh my GitHub folder. You'll see uh, this uh, illustration uh, uh, pasted into a, uh, a you know a, an average uh, page of text. And uh, if this is uh, all you have, uh, then this will actually do. So thanks for watching.